everybody, welcome to Sunday Best. These are my rankings of what I believe to be the best jokes. Just my thoughts, your results might vary. Uh, feel free to re-rank them yourself. Uh, let's get started. Oh, the Dolphins lost 59 to 10. Dolphins, do you know how much you have to suck to embarrass the state of Florida? Teal is embarrassed. Hanging chads are embarrassed. Somewhere there's a drunk guy threatening his wife with their pet alligator. He's embarrassed. Number 14, the 72 Dolphins are rolling over near their graves. 13, in Vegas, the Dolphins have the same odds of winning the Super Bowl as they do the World Series. That's bad, right? 12, a lot of companies have, uh, you know, struggled in the Midwest, gone out of business. But in Cleveland, the factory of sadness is still chugging along. Number 11, Titans beat the Browns by 30 points. After the game, Baker Mayfield had x-rays. Came back negative for dangerous. Number 10, Odell Beckham wore a $350,000 watch during the game, but uh, he and Mayfield still had Casio timing. Number 9, the Browns, opening day. Their record in the last uh, couple decades is one win, 18 losses, and one tie. Wow, they really start behind the eight ball. And the eight ball says, outlook, not good. Number eight, the Browns. Oh, the Browns are a little bit like showering with a woman, right? In your mind's eye, it's fantastic, but you really just wind up disappointed and sad and wet and cold. Number seven, Antonio Brown signed with the Patriots. Finally, an answer to the question, how could I hate the Patriots anymore? Number six, hopefully Antonio Brown can get his hands on Josh Gordon's stash and chill the fuck out. Number five, in reference to Antonio Brown signing with the Patriots, he tweeted hashtag God's plan. He misspelled Satan. Yes, Antonio Brown, I'm sure it was God's plan to freeze off the bottoms of your feet and paint your old helmet the wrong colors and call your boss a cracker. I remember that Bible verse. Number four, according to reports, Antonio Brown called Mike Mayock a cracker. That's white privilege right there. That's the worst thing you can call a white guy. Crackers are delicious. Number three, the Raiders were in a tough spot. They were between a rock and a head case. Just wine, baby. Number two, this offseason, the Raiders signed Antonio Brown, Vontez Perfect, and Richie Incognito. You can't bring a bunch of skunks into the kitchen and then bitch because it's smelly in there. What did you think was going to happen? Well, hopefully this all gets straightened out next year when they all live in Vegas. And the number one joke from Sunday, Sunday's best, what did Robert Kraft and Antonio Brown have in common? This year they both had a high-profile release. Good night.